Board members, this is a voting item. Uh, the clock is started to take. We have 60 days. It started um, May 19th, is it? Monday, May 19th, and I think the the, uh, the uh, ending would be uh, July 18th. Will be the, the 60 day period. So, Mr. Molders, please. Or Ms. Cornelius. Good evening, everybody. They're the one that sell you down the river. There you go. Let me just say it again. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. You want me to say it again? My name is Yasmin Cornelius, and I'm with an uh, economic development community government relations firm called 99 Solutions. Myself and Jackie Williams. Jackie, raise your hand. Jackie Wilson is here. Jackie Williams. And so we've been uh, retained by L&M to deal with many of the concerns and many of the issues that they have throughout not only the city, the state, I'm sorry, not only the city, the state of the country. Um, this project in particular has brought up many issues that we learned about and um, we want to begin to talk about these issues to make sure that people are on the same page and, and educated. Sometimes people are not educated about many things and they go on to talk about issues without full discussion. So I just wanted to bring out the layout of this presentation. We'll first start off with the work that has been done in 1428. We'll then go on to the project itself and what the layout of the project is. And then we'll be able to address any miscellaneous concerns. I bring you now, Mr. Ron Wallace. Thank you. <coughs> Good evening. Um, I appreciate the um, opportunity to come before the board and the public to talk about a development that we're proud of and we hope the community will be also. Um, first of all, I've, I, I, it's, are you? Okay, am I going to, I mean, you guys will have your opportunity. Please let me talk. Just keep talking. Okay, so first of all, I want to address Briefly, the, this, this, um, the land that we're looking at a rezoning, and that's what the issue we're here for, is uh, between 116th Street and 117th Street, between 5th and Lenox. Um, and it is adjacent to the building known as 1428 Impact Houses. Uh, we own, um, in a different entity, but we, we own, a company I'm in is the principal owner of 1428. We bought the building about a year and a half ago. I want to just briefly address, even though it's not the issue here, it was raised earlier. And officials, we had at least two or three meetings with the Tenants Association prior to purchasing the building. We've had a couple of meetings in the year and a half we've owned the building. We intend to keep communicating and hopefully we can communicate better in the future. And if it hasn't gone as well as it should, we are committed to communicate better, but we committed in that building to keep the building affordable. We renewed, when we took over from the old owner, we made an agreement with HUD and renewed the HAP contract, the second contract for 20 years. So we've kept that building affordable for 20 years. It was a little bit of a hassle and hopefully the end result is a much better product, a much better living environment. Um, tell, uh, tell my associate has some before and after pictures which We'll go through very quickly because it's not the focus here, but I do want everybody who's here to understand what we've tried to do and what we're attempting to do, which is not to take homes away, not to take affordability away, but to make life, to, to enhance things. And here's some before and afters inside the building and what we did in the kitchens and bathrooms. I think the first picture was facade. We tried to, 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 to lighten and, and, and better light the hallways. Um, <coughs> Put in, I think we put in the windows, um, uh, we upgraded and did some green and energy efficiency in the areas of HVAC heating, um, and uh, put in a new boiler system, did a new roof, um, new lobby. Um, so we, we did try to, we did, we did do our best to try to make the building a better place, a nice place to live. We have a, um, uh, we, we, when we took over the building, I'm just going to address a couple of things, and I think some of the comments raised by Ms. Kitt were better dealt with in, in, in a, a future discussion, which I, I'm committed to do in the near future, in the next week or two, if the Tenants Association wants. I think it's better to address some of the 
issues that she raised at that kind of meeting, but uh, when we bought the building, the community room wasn't open for use at all. The community room there is used by the seniors organization that runs the seniors program in the building. We've talked to uh, um, the council member and we've talked to briefly to the senior people running the senior center about creating new space for them outside of 1428 to free up some space in 1428. There are some issues with cooking and things like that, and we're hoping to, that's one of the goals we can accomplish in the new development that we're looking to do. So I'll get into that a little bit more when I talk about the new development. Um, we, we have set some rules. We have put some security cameras in place. There are many tenants who appreciate that. There are some issues over how, you know, how community room is used, whether it's, whether it's a positive in the, in, in the building or a negative in we can deal with that better in discussions with the Tenants Association, but it's not, uh, I don't think there's a unanimity of opinion on all this. So anyway, I wanted to address it because it is part of the conversation that, and our reputation in Community Board 10 is very important to us. We've done a lot of work in the board. Um, we think we've done some good work in the board. We've been before this Community Board numerous times in the past and we want to be able to come back here and have, um, have, have our, uh, have people have a good opinion on this. Reputation is important. Um, I'm going to move on to the issue. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I'm going to move on to the, to the development now that we're we're we're, we're seeking a zone, a rezoning on. So we, um, as I mentioned, this 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 site is on one six on 116th and 117th Street. Uh, about midway, maybe a third of the way down from 5th Avenue between 5th and Lenox. Um, we uh, have come up with a plan where we're going we're gonna to do two buildings. One of the buildings will be 100% affordable. Um, one of the buildings will be 100% market rate. Uh, the market rate building will probably, as of now, will be home ownership, condominium. The affordable building will be a rental. Um, I'm going to, in a, in a minute, let... Maybe I can address it and post it. The, in, the income ranges for the affordable building will be, um, I don't know if you have that, but will be uh, income ranging um, on a basis of median income from 40 to 60 percent of median income. We've committed to build at, at least and possibly in excess of 50 percent of the apartments, two and three bedroom apartments. Right now, the breakdown looks like about maybe a little under 20 percent threes. Uh, and a little over 30 percent twos. Um, the, uh, the building, the um, is, is that it's hard to read that. But the rents, the, the rents for the apartments will range. I can't read it. Tell you. You walk over to it and let us know. So, so. We can produce something that we can hand out, but the 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 the, the low rent, the lowest rents on the studios are about four hundred and twenty-four dollars. The one bedrooms are probably closer to and range from to about seven fifty. The one bedrooms start roughly. I'm not reading it. I'm just speaking. From, probably closer to five hundred dollars and go to closer to eight hundred dollars. The two bedrooms are probably around six hundred and go closer to nine hundred. And the three bedrooms probably around seven fifty. Is hell set to about eleven hundred. So that's that's on the affordable rental side. Huh? In that building, we also uh, have committed to, to provide we're, we're going to provide approximately fifteen hundred to two thousand feet of space at no rent for the senior center that's currently operating in fourteen twenty eight. Um, we hope to be able to provide them with a kitchen that is more conducive to their needs um, and, and take that out of the fourteen twenty eight building. Um, and we also are looking to position the building as a building where we are going to emphasize health. And we're looking at help, a health facility to go in the retail space possibly. We're looking at some, the possibility of uh, uh, green grocer or farmer on a smaller scale, maybe farmer's markets. We, have taught, we are in the process of talking to Hall Hospital that has a small farmer's market uh, model that we would like to try to replicate here on a small scale if possible. Where um, where we uh, where we can bring fresh produce into the community. Um, we're looking at various options. It's a little early in the process for that, but, but our commitment is to do um, some kind of health use 
um, if at all possible, in the retail and possibly community space, other than what, what I talked about with the senior center. Um, we also are committed to green construction, green building. We were co-developers in the Kalahari across the street, and we're looking to do a similar lead rate building on this site um, and provide a building that, that, that is sustainable and efficient in terms of uh, energy use. Um, so, and, and then just, just um, to, I'm going to come in a minute, but one more thing. To address the other issue that came up, we realize that we, we are providing, there is some, we are providing parking, we're providing about, uh, parking for about 100 cars, we're actually analyzing that now, it'll be below grade parking, below the, the two buildings. Um, we are providing open space in the courtyard area between the buildings that will um, be for the use of the residents. Um, we also um, have realized the basketball court, which is currently on the property now, is an issue for some of the um, residents of 1428. We are looking to work with, we have the possibility of putting the court someplace closer to the building. We also are looking to work with the residents and the tenants committee to talk about options that might otherwise be acceptable or, or there. And um, that's something that I haven't, I know this is going to sound funny, but I happen to play basketball and I'm committed to trying to keep that as a, uh, as a use for the youth. So anyway, what we're looking for from the board is a um, rezoning. Currently the property can be built as of right to about 140,000 feet. We've, we've worked with the Department of City Planning. They've submitted, we've submitted a uh, proposal to keep the height, we would have a nine-story building on the 117th street side of the street, a 12-story building on the 116th street side of the street. Uh, we're looking for a rezoning to R7, R7X? C, C45X, I'm sorry. And, um, and that would uh, allow us to build a slightly more, more FAR, but not as high a building as currently is allowed on the site now. Um, so uh, that's basically, that's, that's what we're coming to the board for, and we're hoping that um, you like the proposal and you like our... No, we do not like it. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you have to do that? Well, that is a done deal. Out here from the jail. That's what you're doing. Excuse me, this is a public hearing, and you will have a chance to speak, but you have to be recognized. That's all we ask. It's all that we ask that you be recognized. <laughs> this is a voting item of the board. The land use committee voted nine yes, one against, and one abstention in favor of this project. Uh, I do know that he, uh, Mr. Mullins had mentioned the council member. This will be going to city council. Council member Dickens, who was over at this area, uh, I spoke to her personally, and she uh, and Mr. Mullins and his company uh, have been in co contact and communication for a while. Uh, as a matter of fact, it was uh, Councilwoman Dickens, if I may, uh, who uh, prompted Mr. Mullins to do the 100 units of affordable housing. So uh, I think that's a feather in, in, in her cap. We do want to keep affordability here. Um, the 117th Street side will be either home ownership or market rate. It probably will be market rate. I can't talk with you talking at the same time. I cannot. Please. This is a voting item, um, as I said. There are minutes, uh, land use minutes, as well as there's a resolution that we have to adopt this evening. So, um, being that this is a public hearing, uh, everyone is, is is encouraged to speak. I'm going to go to board members first, and then I will go to the to the public. Board members, are there any questions? Miss Scott. Well, the current zoning allows um, you to build a tower, 25 stories or so. It is, I, I'm not even sure there is a height restriction. You can see the, the yellow building there is what would be a base. There would be a base plus uh, a fairly big tower. I think we could go up 25, 28 stories. The FAR, under the current zoning, the FAR for residential is about 140,000, and for community facility, in addition to that, you could build about 260,000, is it? 
it's it's fairly large F A R. So, I just need to recognize you, Miss Miss Scott. What was your question answered? No. So I'll, I'll, I'll fin I can finish. I think the second part was what we're what we're looking to rezone to. So the rezoning now would be what you see over there, which are two smaller buildings. It's obviously instead of a tower on a base, it's two small buildings on a base, some smaller buildings on a base. The FAR now goes where we can do community facility and retail on the first floor, and above that we can build about 180,000 roughly square feet of residential. So we get more residential, less community facility space, and height restrictions that are different than what they would be now. both. <laughs> we don't have a commitment. What we would like to do and we, we, we would like to get, I, I tried, um, I, we would like to get uh, a grocery store that fits the green requirements and the FRESH program. It's not that easy and I'm not promising that we can do that. But we also, in that health concept, we are also looking at, there, there's a need, it seems, because there's interest from health, health club operators to do health facility, health club facility. Now, that would be in the retail. That would not necessarily be a community use, but it's it's a theme that we have. And the community use, we've had some conversations. We don't know what we're going to do there. And one of the things we've promised to do is relocate the seniors center into a new state of the art uh, space that they could they could operate out of. So that's a commitment. Um, the community facility space, in addition on 117th, we 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 don't know exactly what we're going to do. We we'd like to. The farmer's market concept is a concept that we'd like to try to explore as well. And we may, that may be a small concept. We may not be able to get someone to take a 20,000 foot supermarket, but maybe we can get someone to spend, take a two or 3,000 foot farmer's market space. And we've talked to the council member and told her that we were willing to, to work with her in terms of some concepts as to how to go about doing that. I think she the one, was the one who suggested Hall Hospital as a, as a model where they're doing that now currently. And we're going we're to explore that as well. Ori and then 